Jennifer Garner breaks her silence about Ben and the nanny. She said it had nothing to do with our decision. We had made this decision long before that nanny was hired. I think that they have really worked at their marriage, and I just think that they just couldn't do it anymore. Unsavory, cliche, and bad judgment. But her biggest loss reveals why she and Ben still live on the same property. Quote, I lost the dream of dancing with my husband at my daughter's wedding. But you should see their faces when he walks through the door. And if you see your kids love someone so purely and wholly, then you're going to be friends with that person. I was shocked when she had said to me, she's like, well, you know, when Brad and Jen broke up, I was desperate to see something that they were getting back together. You know, she's like, that's all I wanted. You can't help it. You're sucked into it. You know, you're just drawn in. But at the same time, you know, her next sentence was, but you can't let my life become a soap opera. Described as wounded, Jen looks somber, but still stunningly beautiful in the Vanity Fair photo shoot. She's completely offline. She had a, I call it like a come to Jesus. One morning when she's sitting there and there they pop up, the headline pops up and she realized I can't go down this rabbit hole. She just shut it all out. Ben's like, oh, you don't care. Oh, how can you not care? You don't care. And she's like, no, it's actually, it's the opposite. You know, I care too much. It's too painful. But this is one moment Jen confessed she laughed at. He's also the only person who Ben Affleck hasn't been unfaithful to. Please welcome Matt Damon. Her response? No one needs to hate him for me. I don't hate him. Certainly, we don't have to beat the guy up. She did. She said, he's the love of my life, and what am I going to do about that? Despite that, it seems from reading the Vanity Fair article that Jen won't be taking Ben back. It's heartbreaking, as she still calls him the most brilliant person in any room, the most charismatic. She says, when his sun shines on you, you feel it. But when the sun is shining elsewhere, it's cold. He can cast quite a shadow. She said, look, I failed at this twice. What did I do? What, where's my part in this? She knows how hard this is. Ben had been through a very public broken engagement and a string of like kind of high profile romances. And uh, she was very clear about it. She's like, oh no mistake, I did not marry the movie star, I married him. And I would run down that beach and marry him again. And uh, I have no regrets about that.